I've been making art since I was a small child. I was just pursuing things, I think, three-dimensionally since I was very young. By the time I was in high school, I got all of my other classes out of the way so that I could take sculpture all day instead of school. It just seemed like the easiest way to sculpt, to sculpt clothing and like sell it to women. I was working under Zach Posen as his uh, assistant on his gowns for his premiere show in Paris. And we would be draping gowns. That's kind of my, um, my specialty. It's a three-dimensional way of designing. You work with pins on a dress form. Fabric has a way of falling with gravity. There's kind of an, an elegance in fabric itself, <laughs> I would say. I think I was always into gowns. I think that I've always enjoyed um, wearing like long dresses. Dressing up as a woman is kind of similar as to dressing up as a little girl. I'm feeling like fancy. <laughs> I have been dressing some celebrities and I think California is a cool climate to kind of like focus on that because there's a lot of red carpet events. There's something angelic or, or goddess-like about a gown that's flowing onto the floor and has a long train and there's kind of like a, a floating to the movement of the woman walking. I am working on a wedding gown right now. He has like a moon goddess kind of vision. I'm definitely interested in the woman's input because I want them to feel beautiful and because it is one of a kind and you know, like it matters to me. I completely love making women feel beautiful. I recently made this shoe. It's like fashion meets art. And that's kind of where you have some luxury objects, such as a fabulous art piece high heel. I'm going in that direction and I'm working on my sculpture, so I'm kind of like giving myself the space to like enjoy art again. What people like about your work anyway is the art of it.